Hey everyone, it's Kos, and today we're gonna talk about the 15 things not to ask a gay guy. So this video is like the sequel to 15 things not to ask a vegan, and since you guys liked that one, I thought, why not? Let's go on and make another one, and maybe if you have any more ideas about 15 things not to ask a specific category, let me know in the comments down below. It's been a long time since my last video, it was two weeks ago because I had some exams going on. They went well, so I'm happy with that. So are you ready to start today's video? Let's go! Who's the man and who's the woman in the relationship? I mean, we're two guys, we don't need a woman. And if there are two women in a relationship, they don't need a man. It's so simple. So simple. Two guys, no need for a woman. We can work it out without a woman. Yeah! When did you realize you were gay? I mean, the answer is pretty simple. When did you realize you were straight? It's exactly the same thing. Attraction comes in the teenage years exactly on the same point. So this question has no meaning at all. Why do gay guys always have to be so feminine? I'm pretty sure some are doing it because they're attention seekers. So why not? My first question is. And why do you think people would choose to be feminine, in your terms, to grab the attention of you or everyone else? This is just bullshit. This is just who they are. If they like it this way, let them be this way. If they like to be masculine, let them be masculine. So what's wrong with a guy being feminine? And what's wrong with a girl uh, being masculine? I mean, hello? Can you please stop rubbing your sexuality in our faces? I mean, yes. Maybe you stop as well, I suppose. Will you be my gay best friend? A gay best friend sounds like a product. We can be best friends. If you could like specifically a gay best friend, maybe you should seek for someone else. My eye is trembling today, I don't know why. Anyway, can we go shopping together? No. No. I don't like shopping even for myself, why would I go with you? If you have same-sex marriage, why do you continue having gay pride? In Greece, in Cyprus and many other countries in the world, in the majority of countries in the world, we don't have these rights, but also there are so many things that we need to figure out how to stop them, like bullying or how to change the society in a good way to accept LGBT people. How do you know you're not attracted to women if you've never been with one? I mean, first of all, how do you know that I've never been with a woman? Second of all, or not just me, but every gay guy. And then, have you ever tried having sex with someone of the same sex to check it out? Or do you think, no, I'm attracted to this gender and just because society is this way that it's easy for me to just be attracted to that gender and that's all? I don't have any more thoughts about experimenting. But if you're gay or if you're lesbian or if you're bi, you need to experiment with both genders to know, right? Can you help me pick my outfit? I mean... Yes, if you want. But the fact that I'm gay doesn't mean that I have a good sense of style. You're such a waste of a fine man. It's such a waste for you women, but not for men. If you would like to take it that way. So it's not a waste, maybe you're just jealous. Why do more guys have to wear makeup these days? I mean, everyone can wear makeup, right? It's not just guys, or girls, or drag queens, or whoever. Everyone who would like to can wear makeup. You're so masculine for a gay guy. Gay guys can be feminine, can be masculine, can be non-binary or something in between, or nothing in between. 
And straight guys can be feminine and masculine and blah 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 as well. And that leads us to the next. You don't seem to be gay. So how does a gay guy need to look like? I have this question, so you can leave your comments down below and let me know what the stereotypical or what does a gay guy need to look like? Um, I had a friend who asked me the next question and it was quite irritating. So he asked me, are you sure? Would you like to think about it again? I mean, I have nothing to think about. And the last question, which is a question that everyone makes to a gay guy and that needs to stop. Yes, you guessed it, right? That's it. Are you a top? Or are you a bottom? I mean, why do you care? Are you gonna have sex with me? Mm, probably not. Do I ask you about your sex life in that details, especially if I don't know you very well? Probably not. So, even if I'm a top or a bottom or first, why do you care? And then we have some extra bonus for you. And it is Eurovision Yes, for you, my Eurovision buddies, Eurovision is such a gay contest. I'm, it's not. It's not. Many gay people like it because it's fabulous. It's not a gay contest, it's a music contest. And everyone who loves music loves Eurovision. Or everyone who loves pop music and grand shows and fabulous shows love Eurovision. So, yes, many people who like Eurovision are gays, but many people are straight women, straight men, or even gay women. So that's it for today. If you liked this video, click the like button, subscribe down below, new video every Sunday. But for now, bye-bye!